Premier League, but they were relegated to the Championship last season. In recent weeks, speculation over his future has resurfaced. Joaquin released this statement tonight. It is with deep regret, given my hard work and service for the club for a number of years, that I've been forced to resign due to my position becoming untenable. I wish to thank all the players and coaching staff and the majority of fans who now see their club heading towards an automatic promotion back to the Premier League. But just hours earlier, Keane told us that talks with the board had been positive and constructive. I know, and I know that Paul and Derek, both the directors, know that our talks were, were, uh, were positive in many aspects of what we're doing at the club. So you're here for the long term, no question of you move, moving away or more, walking away? The, 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 question, the, the question, and I only want to you know, go over it once again, is talks were positive, main focus, getting promoted, and we're on track to do that. Joaquin leaves with Blackburn third in the championship table behind Brighton and Huddersfield, just outside the automatic promotion places. They've taken 14 points from their opening seven matches. A week ago, Blackburn suffered their first league defeat of the season against Middlesbrough, a result which prompted those talks with owners Ben Keynes. But last month, the club's global advisor, Chevy Singh, left Keane in no doubt just where he stood. For me, it's about results. And if we find that after three games, we've dropped nine points, that will, that will quite literally mean that you know, we will have a, only a 50% chance of uh, getting promoted. I would again see your objection as I if we lose three games, definitely. Definitely. Yes. So we just clarify what you said, Shelley. If the manager loses three games on the bounce, he's gone. Yes. Those views welcomed by a sizable proportion of the Blackburn fans who protested against Keane for much of his 21-month reign. The fans' boycotts led to attendances at Ewood Park falling significantly this season, with a crowd of 13,000 against Middlesbrough, more than 9,000 down on the average crowds they attracted in the Premier League last season. Surprised and a bit disappointed that um, there were obviously some serious meetings held in India uh, after the end of the season, and the decision was clearly taken to give him one last chance. Um, that's one last chance I think 99% of the Rovers fans would not have given him but there we are he was set this um, very steep target which uh, until last Friday he was on target to achieve but uh, he didn't in the end and uh, seems to have uh, brought down his downfall really there might be some nervousness about some of the obvious candidates uh, to come to a club which appears to be in disarray but I think you'll find uh, an awful lot of the uh, difficulties that fans have had will melt away now that Keane's gone. Now I expect to see a big upsurge in season ticket sales and uh, match attendances uh, following this now. Keane leaves Blackburn with a disappointing record. In 74 games in charge, he won only 21 times, drawing 16 and losing 37. His win rate is just 28%. I'm almost relieved for him. It's been such a journey for him. He's had, it seems like, years of, of abuse. Um, the fans seem to have made their minds up very quickly about him. Um, and he's never really been able to recover. And even in relegation and doing well, and the arrival of Chevy Singh, he hasn't really you know, been able to get on with him, find any common ground. Um, but he's hung in there, and, and credit to him for, for keeping his head down and keep going while it was all really really horrible for him really at times um, but I'm almost like I say relieved that he's gone just, just for his own welfare really I don't know the reasons maybe the club wanted him to resign so they didn't have to pay him off anything there's always those bits of politics involved somewhere um, but they've just made his life hell and he's, in the end he's had enough of it